Hey all, Hibber here. So uh, today we are out with uh, the good old final boss again, and um, this is, I think, probably on the day or probably the day after the latest update. Um, and uh, we're just testing out new ships here. I'm in Colbert, and uh, final boss is in uh, the Donskoy. Uh, and it was actually after this battle here, I thought, because we were talking about how like, unagile the Donskoy actually was. And after this battle, I thought, huh, I think I'll try to make an agile video with Donskoy, which I did. And it's on my channel, by the way, if you want to watch it. Speaking of my channel, don't forget to subscribe, of course, like, share, and obviously comment. Um, it all helps, guys. So, this is one of my first battles in Colbert, I think, uh, probably, yeah, fourth or fifth or something like that. And, um, like I've said before, this, sh like, this ship is fun, but uh, I, I still think Minotaur is more fun and a better ship overall. And uh, Des Moines is uh, much more boring, but it's also a better ship overall. Um, Colbert, it's fun to play. Uh, not as fun as I remember it to be, I must admit that. <laughs> um, but uh, it's decent, but uh, is it? Yeah, I don't know. I just have a lot more fun in Minotaur, to be uh, honest, because it just has so many more tools. Like, uh, you can't really push in too much in Colbert because... Uh, you just get focused and uh, you don't have like the opportunity to smoke up and uh, you don't have torpedoes you can't really snuggle up to a uh, cliff and you know wait for the enemy team to try to push you out uh, you just kind of have to kite all the time and yeah I don't know it's just not the same as it was at Christmas I think um, or maybe the game has just moved on um, but I mean, it's still a fun ship, and it's still worth the 3,000 steel and, uh, you know, the bureau effort and all that stuff. Uh, because it is a legendary cruiser, and we don't have many cruisers. Um, so uh, it's definitely a plus for the game, and uh, it's excellent, and it's fun to play. Uh, but Minotaur and Des Moines, they are still the better picks. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. Actually, I think... Every other legendary cruiser is a better pick than Colbert because they have radars. Uh, like missing out, radar missing out on this ship here, um, it's just a it's just a huge minus I think. And I'm so used to having radar up here at legendary tier that um, I'm having trouble adjusting my playstyle to not having radar because uh, it's so important to get rid of the destroyers up here. And uh, when you can't really do that, then yeah, I mean, what is the point of your cruiser then, really, right? I am still boosting the ship and I will research it. I'm almost halfway now. And uh, I'm doing that primarily to have some fun divisions with Hustle and uh, Tex and uh, everybody else who seems to love like Agile Cruisers. Because yeah, obviously it is a very Agile Cruiser and it's a lot of fun to play. Um, but like I say, in solo play, um, if your team is you know below average, uh, you're going to have a hard time in Colbert making any sort of difference. I mean, other than just racking up the damage. Uh, because I've had many, many battles where I rack up more than 200,000 damage and, uh, you know, 2,000 XP and it's a loss and everybody else on the team is like 1,000 XP or below. And uh, mainly because, yeah, I don't know why, but uh, it just seems that this ship here just attracts horrible teams, honestly. Now, one thing that could spice this ship up and all the other French cruisers, I realize Martel just got a reload loose, but still, uh, that would be a new French premium commander, because uh, France doesn't have any premium cruiser commanders, and if you look at like a country like Germany, they have, I don't know, they have like five, six or something like that, absolutely crazy. There's a commander for every possible build you could possibly want to do on a German cruiser, and that's how it should be. And I think the French have been neglected a little bit there in uh, in that, yeah, sure, we have a couple of premium battleship commanders, but like compared to how many battleships and premium battleships from France there is, then it's, it's not enough. <laughs> and uh, we also have quite a few premium cruisers now, but no premium cruiser commander. So uh, that's my next wish in this game here, is that uh, Wargaming, you know, gets the act together and gives us a... Uh, French premium cruiser commander. 
I would very much like something like uh, Soundwave, the Italian premium cruiser commander. And uh, that's funny because the Italians haven't been in the game as long as the French and they have a premium cruiser commander. But uh, whatever. Like I said, I would like something like um, Soundwave or perhaps the alien lady from the Americans. Uh, she's also really good. Something like that. Like some kind of indicator that would help me find destroyers. It would help a lot on the ship here. Uh, because you only have your sonar and uh, to use your sonar you need to push in and uh, pushing in without torpedoes it's just not uh, viable in most battles and uh, you have to rely on other team members to spot destroyers and we all know how uh, often that happens <laughs> not very often another thing is that the ship here gets like extremely focused uh, during these two weeks here where we have it as a loner because uh, the CC are the only people with this ship here and uh, like I can tell you some battles uh, it's pretty much two-thirds of the whole red team they just chase you <laughs> and I mean they don't care what happens to their ships there's like destroyers just YOLOing you and battleships coming from the other side of the map just to ram you and stuff like that and uh, sure that's okay but uh, hopefully that will you know be toned down a little bit once a few more players have this ship here because uh yeah right now it's uh it's a little bit challenging to play let's put it like that another thing i keep thinking here is from the agility perspective because yes colbert is agile um but it's not that much more agile than uh, minotaur actually uh Minotaur is actually a little bit more agile because it has the uh, improved acceleration as standard. So uh, actually, in my opinion, Minotaur is the most agile cruiser at Legendary Tier. It's not Colbert. And that kind of, uh, you know, kills a lot of the joy in playing Colbert. But you can play a more agile cruiser that also has radar and also has torpedoes and uh, pretty much has the same reload with some very nasty AP shells and I mean, in Minotaur, I tend to get much higher average XP simply because I can head in there, I can raid out the DDs, and I can take them out very, very quickly. And uh, if I have to, I can torpedo battleships, and uh, you know, it's just it's just a much much better ship. Honestly, it really is. Uh, Kobe is fun, but it's not a carry ship in any way. And uh, here we're talking an agile radar Minotaur, of course. That's all I play and uh, that's what I'm comparing to Colbert. I'm not comparing a smoke uh, AP focused Minotaur or anything like that. No, no, it's a full agile build and I think Minotaur has 2.1 second rudder, something like that. Colbert has 2 second rudder. Okay, Colbert is much faster uh, with the speed boost, but without the speed boost they're actually about the same um, speed. So again, sure, Colbert has better armor in theory, but uh, I've taken some nasty hits in this ship here. And I remember there was the same thing from back at uh, Christmas. That, uh, I mean, even Alaskas, when you are full bow on, uh, they can just hit you. I believe through superstructure, whatever it is that happens, and uh, they just take half your health. Because you only have 37,000, and no, 36,000 actually. <laughs> and it's not a lot, even if they don't citadel you. You know, like four or five penetrations to the superstructure. Yeah, that hurts. So uh, we're getting close to the end of the battle here, and it's actually been uh, a lot more equal than I thought it would be. Uh, because in the beginning it looked like uh, this was going to be one of those battles where we just steamroll everybody. Uh, but actually, the red team put up a very nice fight here in the last uh, few minutes. So, uh, I mean, that's always nice. It's, uh, it's a lot more fun to play this game when the teams are, you know, at least pretty evenly matched and uh yeah we're not exactly evenly matched in this game here i would say the blue team is like, better than the red in like as a general here but uh once you have you know those teams where like the ships are pretty much equal and you have the same number of the same of the every ship type and the players are pretty much equal uh that's when this game here is a lot of fun and that's where uh, you get those very exciting battles where you know nobody uh, gets away with five kills and like double the XP of everybody else. Everybody is about the same level, and um, 
I, I love when that happens, and it sure doesn't happen a lot in this game here. Because, uh, yeah, we all know that uh, there's people playing this game here who don't really know what they're doing, honestly. And, uh, I mean, I had a play game today where uh, we had a Shimakasa on our team, and, uh, of course, we lost. And the Shima, uh, you know, he brought home an, an incredible 266 XP. I don't, I don't even know how that's possible to make that little XP. I mean, uh, how, how? I don't, I don't even get it. Like just moving from the spawn and to the nearest cap should grant you more than 266 XP. So, uh, yep, don't know. And he wasn't AFK. I mean, he was sailing around at least in the beginning. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I might put the battle up because it's just. It's just one of those where you're like shaking your head and say, okay, that's it. Turning the Xbox off and uh, go and grab a beer. So uh, today is also the last day I actually have access to Colbert. I believe Wargaming will take it back tomorrow. And uh, that's fine. I think I've played probably more than 100 battles in it. And uh, I have a very, very long playlist of Colbert battles. I haven't put that many up actually because I think oh I don't want to saturate the channel in Colbert videos but uh, I have a lot and uh, yeah I'll probably just drip feed them through the year or something because <laughs> I don't think any other ship has given me that many uh, high damage games uh, except maybe perhaps Minotaur actually like I said I always do better in Minotaur it's just the best legendary cruiser um, by any measure really um, it's uh, yeah it's just the best <laughs> and uh, that's from a Colbert lover by the way anyway we're just going to remove the last Worcester here and he's like totally outnumbered so it's not even a fair fight and that's the end of it so not a super high damage game here but uh, it's fun to play with uh, with final because um, you know in a division when you actually can count on other players anyway hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you out there